Black Friday, a day that brings both savings and chaos to the millions that are willing to stay up past their bedtime to get that sweet new television or any other crazy deal that comes along the way. The only time that I participated on a Black Friday happened over 10 years ago when I went to CompUSA to get a 3 megapixel Kodak camera that was on sale. And let me tell you, it was a Kodak camera, but it did not deliver a Kodak moment. That camera was awful. And it was then that I simply decided Black Friday was not for me. That is until I went to Chicago and my wallet got a little excited. Here's what happened. Our trip to Chicago happened thanks to our family. It was a chance to escape the madness from everything that was happening in Puerto Rico so I could spend time with them. Plus, I could try to get my hands on a Super Nintendo Classic, but we'll get to that later. You're going to be seeing other videos about this trip on the channel, including a food video and a video of an awesome arcade in Illinois called the Galloping Ghost Arcade, so be on the lookout for those a little bit later. What's important is that this one is all about that Friday madness. And by the way, how many stores have said this month that it's Black Friday all month long? I mean, talk about a pet peeve. That's not how Friday works. Friday is one day a week, and this one just happens to be all sorts of crazy. Anyway, after having a nice Thanksgiving dinner, my journey with Black Friday began on that Thursday evening with a visit to GameStop. The goal was to get Dragon Ball's Universe 2 for the Nintendo Switch for $15, but they did not have it available, so we went to Best Buy and snagged a couple of games, plus plenty of movies that we've been wanting to watch. We're here at Best Buy, and we currently are in line. Well, Nicole's in line. I'm here doing this video. It's I mean, not only does that mean I get to, to skip a line, I also get to talk to you guys. I just wanted to check out what a Black Friday thing is like. You know, tomorrow we're going to be going to uh, Target and other stores, not for any Black Friday stuff. We just wanted to actually go to those stores while we were in Chicago. It just so happened that it happened during the worst time possible, so it's going to be jam-packed. But hopefully it's not going to be overwhelming, although let's be honest, it, it totally will be. I'll say that Best Buy was very smart with how they designed the actual lines for Black Friday because initially we were just going to get the two games, but along the way, as you're waiting to actually pay, you saw a bunch of movies that were on sale. They were a steal of a deal, and we actually wanted to see them, but we had no intention of actually buying them during this trip. We can get a preview of just how crazy the lines are right now. Everybody's out buying a PS4. I'm here looking at what I've been looking at. I want a DVD copy of Bambi for... $18, but wait a minute, I got to say $2? My god, Bambi, I haven't watched you in forever. Seriously, though, who would spend $18 on that? Not that there's anything wrong with Bambi movies. That's not what I'm talking about. We've been meaning to watch John Wick for a while, and we got this one for just $4. We also got, from the Divergent series, Allegiant. We had the previous ones. We also got Spider-Man Homecoming and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. All of these were just $8 a piece. Plus, we got Wonder Woman on Blu-ray for $10. And not just that, but this also has the 4K Blu-ray. Now, we actually have a 4K TV, but not a 4K Blu-ray player. So, even though we can't get the full benefits, if we eventually get that, we can check out this movie in even more glorious high definition. Also, this would not be my last visit to Best Buy. At night, we went to Salvation Army, which I love to visit because you can find the most obscure stuff at a steal of a price. Sometimes. Gotta look at this. Cheers on VHS. Each one has three episodes. And I don't know how much this goes for, but it's gotta be pretty rare. Because look at how, how high quality it is. It looks like an entire collection of books, but turns out it's actually the VHS collection. All of them have the same cover, but I love the series. I don't know how good or bad this is. It is only 95 cents. Men in Black, the series crashed down. Oh my god. Is that supposed to be Will Smith? This is a one player game, and the disc is basically new. So I was checking that out. Medal of Honor Rising Sun actually played this online a lot. It's a very underrated shooter. This is basically brand new as well. A lot of these are just like racing games, you know, you have some Wii games. These are the games that I guess they end up here because they, they're, you know, they're being given to grandchildren as gifts. They get really pissed off once they find out what they actually get. So they end up here at Salvation Army. But, hey, I get to reap the benefits as a result. 
See, this is the kind of crazy stuff that you look for. I'm, I've been recently playing Appletude on the PS2, and I never played this N2O Nitrous Oxide. This is for the PS1. It's music fueled by the Crystal Method. Crystal Method, very important. It's broken. Is the disc in good quality? It's, it's seen better days, especially this is a little questionable. Maybe it works, but San Andreas for the PS2, only $3. This game has uh, been re-released. Oh my god. I don't know if you can make this one out, but there's a reason why it's here at Salvation Army, because it probably didn't work, so somebody just sent it back. Nicole, if you were to look at this game's quality, the disc, would you actually get it? Like, for 95 cents, I think you can get it and see if it works or not. The four games I got were less than $7 total. Now, are some of them crap? Of course they are. But that's why I got them and that's why I love them. Plus, who knows who owned them beforehand? Afterwards, we went to sleep and on Friday, we visited Five Below, which I had never gone to. They had Guitar Hero Live for just $5, which is crazy. I already had it for PS4 though, but Nicole and I got Monopoly Hero Now Edition for just five bucks plus a couple of gaming tees that were also just $5. And I was really surprised to see high quality stuff at that price. They had WWE action figures and even a little entertainment for the bathroom. And they also had this giant Ferrero Rocher chocolate. Just imagine biting into that thing. You see that chocolate melt and then you get that hazelnut center. But I didn't get it. After going to Five Below, we went to Hot Topic because we saw that they were having a sale on t-shirts for just $10 a piece. So I got two of them, including a pretty cool Bullet Club shirt and a Rick and Morty shirt. I got this one to support non WD wrestling and the Rick and Morty shirt because that show is just awesome. At the same mall, we saw a toy store with a couple of WWE figures and the placement had to have been done on purpose. We also went to Target where we got a couple of board and car games. We also got season one of Stranger Things on Blu-ray for just $10. I know that this series is available on Netflix. It's a Netflix original, but just look at this box and how cool it is for just 10 bucks. It was a hell of a deal. They also had other incredible items that I was tempted to buy, but I was resilient. It was around this time that we saw a tweet indicating that Best Buy was going to have the Super Nintendo Classic available on the 25th right after Black Friday. So logically, we did the stupid thing and stood in line outside for two hours in the cold, and I was dying. Ladies and gentlemen, I, okay, Nicole, I'm gonna need some like drum roll. Can I get some drum roll? Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you the newest member of our family. We got it! We got it! Yes. Super Nintendo 64! Yes! Yes! Afterwards, we celebrated with a nice cup of coffee, but we were not done buying video games because we went to Play and Trade and they were having a sale on PS2 and original Xbox games priced at $10 or under. Get this, 15 games for $10. I had to ask twice because I couldn't believe it. Needless to say, I spent the next hour or so trying to get the best mix of games. They also had a two for two deal on used games and Nicole and I used that to get some Game Boy Color and wrestling games to add to my awesome wrestling game collection. Included in the 15 games are Kinetica, G-Force, Beat Mania, and Sneak King. Is the set questionable? Yes it is, but I'm actually going to be doing a pickups video right here on the channel where I'm going to be showcasing all of the games that I got during that visit and sort of talk about why it is that I chose those games in particular. Overall, I have to say I had a pretty fun time with the whole Black Friday experience because we weren't out there looking for the doorbuster deals. It just happened that we were in Chicago during this time. Chicago is a place that I hadn't been to in over 10 years and Nicole had never visited. So the fact that we were able to spend time with family, get a couple of video game deals, get the Super Nintendo Classic, I have to say that I am very happy with my results. Now, if I were back in Puerto Rico, would I have been part of the whole Black Friday experience? 
personally, I don't think so. I don't think it's worth being out there overnight, you know, not spending time with family, but some people do like that crazy experience. So if you guys actually got something pretty cool on Black Friday, let me know in the comments because I would love to know that. Or if you've never been part of a Black Friday experience, I would love to know as well why you don't like that experience. You know, I think that everybody has completely different reasons as to why. So I'm looking forward to your comments there. And as I mentioned at the beginning, this is not going to be the only video I do about my trip to Chicago. There's going to be a video about food, also my visit to the Galloping Ghost Arcade, and stay tuned to that pickups video because I cannot wait to talk about those 15 crazy games plus then some. And folks, if you like this video, definitely help support the channel with a like, subscribe, and share. Share everything that I have going on through all of social media. Don't forget to also follow us on Twitch. Uh, Nicole and I stream over at Press Pause TV. We are Twitch affiliates. We stream all sorts of different games. We just like to have fun and have a live conversation. So if you want to go past the comments and just hang out with me for a little while, definitely hit that follow button on Twitch. So until next time, folks, the next Black Friday is less than a year away. But never forget, folks, that this epic journey definitely continues. Thanks for watching, gang. Take care.